In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, my dear lovely people of God. Morning, we have gathered this morning to praise God. Let us present our individual intentions before him. And also call to mind our saints as we prepare to celebrate this Holy Mass. Lord Jesus, you've shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you've given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Glory be to God in the highest. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature who lives and reigns with you in the unity of of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be as deep as the netherworld, or as high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people that you must also weary my God Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your injustice to the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hidden within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. 
I have made no secret your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, Sacrifice and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. She was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise with our Lord Jesus Christ, but now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. All and all the time, the Lord is good. Dear ones, today is the feast of the Annunciation of the Lord. Or the feast of the Incarnation. Dear ones, 
in today's gospel, we have the angel Gabriel announcing to the blessed mother Mary that she will be the mother of the Son of God. And that is the incarnation. This is a very important day. Very important because it marks the fulfillment of the promise of God for a Messiah. For a Messiah that will liberate his people. Although the Jews thought about the political Messiah, but Jesus was not the political Messiah as they thought. This is also called the Feast of Incarnation of Christ. Why? Because the second person of the Trinity will become flesh in Jesus Christ. This is a very joyful annunciation because it is aimed towards salvation. God took our flesh for us to be salvaged. Dear ones, every day, similar annunciation happens in our life, in our families. How? Usually, daughters make an announcement of pregnancy of would-be mothers. Then, the mothers, we announce them to their husbands. And then, other relatives. It is really a moment of joy and excitement for the family. But unfortunately these days, it is not always true. Why? Because some see it as a problem or burden. When they witness pregnancy, for them, if that pregnancy is not planned, it is unwanted. Dear ones, life in the womb is a gift and a grace and nothing and not a problem or a burden. And therefore, this feast of Annunciation today is telling us to preserve life. The mystery of renunciation is a test of wills. It was a test of will for Mary and Joseph and everyone close to them. However, how can they accept the birth of one when Mary and Joseph we are still to be married? But with God, everything is possible. His will should be enough assurance of his presence and guidance. Both Mary, Joseph passed the test. Aware of the consequences of this, Mary and Joseph abided by the will of God. They never resorted to abortion. Later, the very son who will be born also would show this attitude of resigning to God's will. Jesus obeyed his father even unto death. 
Mary and Joseph obeyed also the will of God. This feast of Annunciation is a reminder to us of the importance of following God's will. It is his will which should prevail more than anyone's will. God knows the best for us. Just like Joseph, just like Jesus, Mary and Joseph, following of God's will, even when we think otherwise should prevail. Dear ones, the Feast of Annunciation is very important for us as Catholics because we are celebrating the second person of the Trinity taking human flesh for our salvation. Two, we are celebrating the Feast of Annunciation, telling the whole world that it is very important to preserve life. Three, the Feast of Annunciation is telling each Catholic, each and every one of us, to fight against abortion. Dear ones, and fourth, this feast is telling us, each and every one of us as good Catholics, to always resign to God's will, as Mary and Joseph resigned to God's will. And Mary accepted the pregnancy. Joseph also accepted the pregnancy. Even though they were not married at, at that particular time. But they accepted it because God said, you should do what? You should accept it. It is God's will. And Gabriel announced the good news. And Mary accepted it. Then why shouldn't we? I know it is not easy. And that is why we need the grace of God to always accept God's will, even when it is against our own will. Let us know that in this situation, God's will should prevail. Let us go out there and preserve life. Let us go out there and tell them that abortion is a sin against humanity and it is a sin against God. Let us go out there and preserve life. And Professor of Faith, I believe in one God.
with reliance on our good and gracious God, let us bring before him our prayers. For the church and her mission of announcing the good news throughout the world, may God continue to bless and sustain this holy work of evangelization. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For elected officials, may the Lord grant them the fortitude to remain true to his justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For married couples who struggle with infertility, may God give them consolation and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who worship here, may the Holy Spirit help us more firmly embrace our faith in the loving God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all who have passed away in the light of faith, May God bring them to everlasting life in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This Mass is offered especially for the intentions of Jane Jacob. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our powerful Father, hear and give heed to the petitions we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation, for through your goodness we will receive the bread we will offer you. For the earth will come from my hands, it will come for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation, for through your goodness we will receive the wine we offer you. For the bread and work of my hands, it will come for us a spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept our, sh our church's offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and every prayer to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about, and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond in telling, beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of resultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the front of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the true covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we are for you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Edward our Bishop, Gregory the Zulali Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious of grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as I wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious of grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live our reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who come to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith. We pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit our ten eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. And do have a very wonderful experience of the eclipse today. <laughs>